I am repairing this sauna. Um, I'm gonna show you what was wrong with it. Just go over what we did to fix it. So this panel stopped working, wouldn't turn on. There's two of them, one here and one on the inside, and both of them stopped working. So I went up into the control box, which is up here in the lid, and found that power went to the control box coming in, but then no power was leaving the box to come down to the panels, so the circuit board was fried, and so we needed a whole new control panel and box. So up in the top of the sauna, this is what I found. This control box here, it had room for four heaters, the roof lamp and the reading lamp inside, which were just regular 120 volt plugs. And then these were kind of like computer tower plugs, which were pretty standard for heaters. And then it had the line out to the control panels and to the CD player, which is right here. And then over on this side, power came in, and then there was an ionizer that was glued down to right here that was plugged into these terminals. And so that was the basic setup. Even calling Lux Spa themselves, they weren't certain that they had this exact same model, so they were gonna send out basically what they called an upgraded box and panel. They wanted $700 for the new system and I think it had a three-year warranty on the box and a one-year warranty on the panels. But $700 was a little more than what we were wanting to spend for this, so I started shopping around. So this is what we wound up going with, which is from Sauna Service Center, and I kind of have mixed feelings about this purchase. It was $490 shipping and everything included, and it's not worth that much. This thing came with one panel, single box, and I had to do a lot of uh, retrofitting to get it to work with this older system, which the lady that I spoke with said that I wouldn't have to do that. The panel comes with the line going down to the, to the control box, which is down there in the wall, and then uh, this is for USB, which, um, yeah, anyways, I'll show you that stuff here in a minute, the panel. Anyways, that goes down to the panel. And then it's got three spots for heaters back here, two spots right here, and then another spot up here. So it's got a total of six spots that you can hook up a heater to. Again, there's only four plugins here. Right over here, a 25 amp fuse, which I'm not sure why it's rated to 25 amps, because your circuit breaker on this should be a max of 20 amps, so I don't see how that would ever be useful. And then it's got a 12 volt DC, this gray wire uh, that comes over and can plug into 12 volt lamps. Now these are 10 watt bulbs, and it says that it's rated to a max of 15 watts, so, Again, not a very good fit for the system, especially since she said this was rated for three bulbs. What I wound up having to do was take the old power cord from the old sauna, and I brought it up here to this junction box. Inside the junction box, I took power over to a single gang box, and then I wired in this ionizer, just hot and neutral, wired into here, and then there's you know, power going over here to a switch that's now installed in the ceiling, just a single pull over here to the light. And so you turn the light on by flipping the switch up in the ceiling. Now there's just two cords going down instead of one. I didn't want to cut into their power cord. Um, figured I'd just keep it a completely separate system. Speakers, you've got positive for the red, negative for the black. Cables they sent look like this for the connections. So I just cut that off and you can see the markings on the side. You've got positive, negative, positive, negative. And so I just hooked up positive and negative to one speaker, the right side speaker, and positive and negative to the other side. Temp sensor was this little doodad right here, which is a very cheap temperature sensor sent with the unit. But since the old temperature sensor has the same exact plugins as this one, I just plugged the old one into 
the uh, the port for this new one right there so that old one's just plugged in and if for some reason it doesn't work well we'll just plug in this new one but this one can hardly even penetrate down through the wood only about that much would be sticking through the top of this ceiling so that other sensor just seems like it's better suited for this 12 volt power it's uh, like I said before 12 volts and 15 watts max coming over here and it's just plugged into what used to be the transformer again was coming from the old system taking 120 volts and then through this changing it to 12 volts DC and you can see here this one was rated for 70 watts this one can only handle 15 watts so I might have to replace those bulbs with some little LED bulbs all right so now let's go down and look inside here's the ionizer again it is just wired directly to power so that's working and this is the new panel and the new panel works it's just touch sensitive you just hold your finger there for a few seconds and then you can change the temperature and the time it's on. You have to turn on audio and then you can hook up Bluetooth and when that's on then this USB cable uh, can be used to charge your device. This light button turns on the lights out here but not inside. Again, the light inside, the main light, is just with this switch. That's just how we had to do it. This is the old panel that was in here. And you can see it fit in that spot. I was thinking about reusing the frame, but it just wasn't quite the same size as the other one. Uh, there are a couple of holes because the other one was a little bit longer. All in all, everything is working. Haven't had any problems. The CD player was mounted in this spot so you could pull that and this all would drop down. I had to remove that so that the power box could fit up there and also the CD player couldn't be plugged into this system. The CD player used to be right there. Besides having to do this extra nonsense, uh, everything else went pretty easily. For the price of $490 for this, I think it's kind of a ripoff. Now that I see how the system all works and is put together, I saw these types of boxes and panels on other websites for 120 bucks or so. As long as you buy the box with its own proprietary panel and it has enough you know, spots for your heaters, really I don't see what all the extra cost is for except for maybe their warranty. Maybe you wouldn't have that same warranty if you bought it just from another website. Not a whole lot to the system, so I'm not too happy with the price I paid nor with the service of the person that I was dealing with truly just lied to me and said, oh yeah, everything will hook up. I mean, I was very specific. I sent pictures. I said, I, this is exactly what I have. This is exactly what I want. They said, oh yeah, don't worry. I'll send adapters so that everything will plug in and you won't have to do anything. They said, I know the engineer of those Sonus. You know, they just said, they made a bunch of claims that once I got the box, I was like, eh, not the best. If you're looking at repairing your sauna and replacing this box, it's not super hard. If you do wind up having to do what I'm doing, maybe in an older sauna that uses a bunch of 120 volt hookups, then you might have to do some basic electrical wiring, but otherwise pretty straightforward. Well, hopefully this helps somebody who is looking at fixing their sauna and uh, might save you a little bit of headache and maybe a little bit of money as well.